They've been the subject of scientific praise and deep political divide. Now, four years into the pandemic, a panel of experts debates the COVID vaccines, trying to determine where do we go from here? The experts say the evidence is clear that the COVID vaccines have saved countless lives. But as we settle into a new phase of the pandemic, is it time to change our strategy when it comes to updating and delivering the shots? Today, the FDA's vaccine advisory panel met to debate and discuss what's next. We've needed to adjust our approach over time, and we're now in a reasonable place to reflect on the development of the COVID-19 vaccines to date to see if we can simplify the approach to vaccination. Data finds the vaccines remain highly protective. People who received all of the recommended shots are 13 times less likely to die from COVID than those who are not vaccinated. But panel members asked for more focus on rare adverse reactions. We're great at identifying the absence of big signals and not really fortifying that with, yes, we continue to look for those rare signals and, yes, individual events occur. The panel heard from Moderna, Pfizer and Novavax about the effectiveness of their vaccines and plans for updating the shots. As seen with influenza and now with COVID-19, vaccines more closely matched to circulating strains offer improved protection. The companies also discussed hopes for next generation vaccines that could provide longer lasting protection against more strains and be more effective at reducing infections and transmission. These are the outcomes that are increasingly important to us because we've accomplished that first task of preventing the, the severe outcomes, minimizing the symptomatic uh, disease. Now let's talk about how we get to this next step. And the advisory panel voted unanimously to recommend updating all of the COVID vaccines to contain the same strains of the virus. That includes first doses and boosters. And the experts said they hope it will simplify the process for everyone and result in better protection. The FDA has proposed choosing the updated strains to include in June to allow the manufacturers time to make fall boosters.